Okay, in this video, I want you to see what uh, the binomial distribution actually looks like. And we're going to look at it through the eyes of an example. Um, so the probability of winning a game of chess against a computer is 0 0.5. A draw is considered as a win for the computer. Okay, so you can, you can either win or lose, really. Ben plays the computer five times, and the probability of winning each game is independent of the rest. Let x be the event of Ben winning a game. Tabulate the probability distribution of x. Okay, So I'm going to tabulate it, and then we're going to draw a stick graph, much like what we did at the very beginning of discrete random variables. Okay, So let's go straight in with this. So uh, x and then the probability of x being equal to x. So Ben can either lose, um, lose all the games, or he can win a game, or he can win two games, or three, or four, or five. OK? So what we can do for this is... Um, when you go into menu on your calculator, rather than going in and finding the probability of each of these independently, I can get the calculator to uh, give me the whole list of them all at the same time. Okay? So, uh, you want to go to number 7, and you want to go back into binomial PD, number 4, and then you want to go to list, not variable. Okay? Now, what you'll find is you will have uh, a little table drawn out on your Casio ClassWiz that looks something like this, okay? And what you're going to want to do, there's one, two, three, four, five, and so on down there, okay? What you're going to want to fill in is the x values, and these are those x values there. So you want to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, OK, now once you've done that, your cursor will be at the, the seventh row. Press equals again, and then you want to tell it you want um, n to be 5, OK, and you want the probability of success to be 0 0.5. Then press equals again, and what it will do is it will populate the right-hand side of your table. So what you'll get is 0 0.0312, 0 0.1562, 0 0.3125, 0 0.3125, uh, 0 0.1562, and 0 0.0312. OK? So those are the probabilities. OK? Now, if you were to graph this with your probabilities along the bottom, okay, um, sorry, your uh, possible x values along the bottom, so you've got uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and your probability is going up the side, so we already want to go up to just about 0.5. Three, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, I'll go there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are the probabilities. Okay. So the probability of getting 0 is 0 0.0312. So something like there. Okay. Then to get 1 is 0 0.1562. So about there. Uh, 0 0.3125 for 2. So 0.3125, so about there. Then 0.3125 again for 3. Then for 4, it's 0.1562. And then for 0.0312. Okay? So what you find is that it's symmetric. And maybe you had guessed that that's what it was going to look like. Okay? Because the probability is 0.5. So you're getting this symmetric... Um, distribution, okay, when the probability is 0 0.5. So what we're now going to do is we're going to change it up. We're going to change that probability to 0 0.15, okay? 
So if I change it to 0.15, I'm going to want a new, new table. OK, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's have a look at what this is going to look like. Maybe you can guess what the distribution is going to appear as. So if you've still got it on your calculator, OK, uh, with that table, we can press equals again, go back in to change n to 5, and the probability is 0.15. OK, so we get 0 0.4437, 0 0.3915, 0 0.1381, 0 0.0243. Uh, then we get 2.1 times 10 to the minus 3. So 0 0.0021. And then 0, and then 7.5 to the power of, uh, times 10 to the power of minus 5. So 0 0.123475. Okay. So this is now the distribution, okay? So if you were to draw it, much like we've done there, okay, let me straighten that up a bit. Okay, so we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Probabilities, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Okay, so the probability getting zero is 0 0.4437. So something like that. Then we've got 0 0.3915. Then we've got 0 0.1381. 1381, so it's about there. Then we've got 0 0.0243. So it's very small in there. Then 4 is even smaller. And then 5, you probably can't even see, OK? So now the distribution is focused much more on the left-hand side because they, those x values, are much more likely to occur, OK? Um, so what you're getting is that you're kind of getting a distribution that's tailing off towards the right there. OK, and what we call that, we call that positive skew. So that distribution would have positive skew, OK, because the, it is towards uh, the positive x direction. OK, so the, if the tail is going towards the right, it's positive skew. If the tail is going towards the left, it's negative skew. OK which is unfortunate because it looks like because the majority is down the left-hand side, you want, maybe want that to be negative skew, but it's actually around the other way to how you might have anticipated it. So that is how the probability can change the distribution and what it looks like, okay, and how you can get these values quickly on your calculator.